what what's with the piano you're you're probably thinking to yourself well it's been kind of just sitting in my living room as a uh, as a shelf unfortunately for the last year and a half two years i tried my best to tune it while it was in there i broke probably two strings which if you guys don't know guitar players bass players non-piano players pianos have a fucking shit ton of strings so <laughs> It's a, it's a little bit neutered at the moment. Uh, it needs some TLC, some love and care. It was pretty out of tune when I rolled it over uh, some steps out into the backyard and then into my garage, which we are in currently. Um, and it got a little banged up on the way down here. So now it's a bit more out of tune. Let's give it a listen. That's uh, that's beautiful. It's perfectly in tune. There's there's nothing wrong with that. It's got character, right? Yeah, we'll get to tuning this piano eventually. We might make a video for it if anybody's interested in that. But uh, in the meantime, it's here. Ah! In the meantime, it's here because I need to take a thumbnail picture with it, and I figured this would be a uh, a fun backdrop for this video. So, anyways, uh, what's up, you guys? Uh, welcome to the uh, end of 2023 channel update. It's been a minute since I put out a video uh, during my last video, the little thanks for 500 subscribers. I kind of got into the swing of writing again and ended up taking a month to work on a song or two and uh, things were going good. You know, when the songwriting is going good, you got to just you got to stick with it. They were going good until they weren't. Uh, eventually, as you all know, if you're creatives, when you're working on something, you eventually hit a wall. And uh, I definitely hit that wall pretty hard. I thought maybe I could pivot back to videos uh, during that time when I was starting to feel the funk, but that funk unfortunately extended to just anything creative I was trying to do. So I had to step away from music for a little bit, step away from videos and just kind of recharge the batteries, hang out with some family, hang out with some friends here and there, and uh, just try to stay productive. Uh, this whole like garage production studio you see behind me, uh, it was only really set up to look this way on camera. It was definitely like about three quarters finished. So I, I finished the rest of it, painted some walls, added some more lights, added some curtains, got some more gear in here, sold some gear. Yeah, it's basically done now. Uh, the vibe is a lot more, it's a lot more tight. Uh, the table has been set as they say. So once I kind of finished getting the vibe correct in here, the creative juices started flowing a lot more and I was like, all right, here we go. Started working on some more music again, really gotten into a good swing. Uh, the video ideas are really coming in strong and that kind of leads me into the next topic, which is where is this channel going? What's the future of the of this channel in a 2024 and onward? And as I was working on new music, I really thought that I kind of want to pivot away from the super strict year videos into something a little bit more useful to the creative people out there, you know, a little bit more into songwriting and the album process, production, art, all that. So I am going to make a video series following the inception of some music that I'm working on all the way to the release. This will be my debut EP album as a Moro, whatever, whatever we want to call this, uh, Project Moro. Yeah, uh, you know, musically, this stuff is uh, pretty ambitious. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely, uh, it's a lot. There's a lot going on. Uh, long songs, uh, dynamic songs, um, big parts, little parts, a lot of moving pieces. So if that wasn't hard enough, I was like, well, why don't I also just make a fucking video series for this whole thing? You know, just to make it harder, just to up the difficulty a little bit. And so that's what I'm gonna do uh, because I'm a masochist and this is what makes it fun for me. Um, some people would say, you know, like why not just focus on your album and YouTube? But uh, for me, uh, once I started doing this video stuff, I I really got into the, the whole like camera filming side of things. Um, so <laughs> that makes it extra fun for me. And it, it's kind of just adding some some uh, fuel to the fire to keep this whole project going. So we're doing both. Uh, it's musically ambitious. It's ambitious in its scale as far as probably going to be at least seven to ten videos and ambitious in the video execution side of things as well, um, because why not? Because I want to because fuck it. That's why. So yeah, uh, 2024, uh, definitely some new videos, hopefully some new music, you know, if all things go according to plan, but uh, that's what I'm working on. I'm 
thinking February, February, early February is when I'm hoping to start releasing some videos. The videos take as long as they take to make. Um, you know, I have a full-time job, I have a family. I wish I could do YouTube and music full-time, but it's just not the case for me at this season in my life. Maybe we'll get there eventually if I, you know, win the lottery. <laughs> Uh, but that's probably not going to happen. So these videos will just come out when they come out. Uh, anyways, I probably won't see you guys until February. Oh, that, that light just went out, didn't it? Early February. Hoping that the first video in the series comes out around then. Uh, I want to get through the holidays. Then I've got the whole month of January to kind of finish up. I've already started filming. Um, so it should be open waters to sail as fast as I can to that goalpost. If I don't see you until then, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, Happy Holidays, wherever you are. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you guys in the next one, hopefully early February. All right, peace out. <laughs>